Welcome. This video is part of the Service Desk Configuration Series. Today we're going to focus in on the Asset Management, Service Calls, and Knowledge Base folders in the Service Desk module. I'm going to hop over to the PSA now and we'll focus on these three specific areas. I've logged into my PSA. I'm going to click on my Service Desk module up top, slide my mouse down, and pick Asset Management, Hardware Assets. Now I've got a number of records already in here. I can use my search grid up top if I need to find a particular machine or, or laptop or server. So don't forget about these. When you receive your database, it'll probably be empty. There are a number of ways of getting the hardware assets into your PSA. One, manually. Click the new button. Fill in the name of the asset. Uh, select from this dropdown, printer. This category dropdown, you configure this. It's found in the admin module, my company, list folder. Uh, I can put the physical information, pick the account. I can even, if I've already imported my customers and contacts, assign this asset to a particular contact and fill in more information down here. Then hit save. I'm done, it's that easy. All right. The other way is uh, you could use a template in our admin module. Over on the left, way down at the bottom, we have an imports and export folder. You can download a template and import all your assets. Last but not least, uh, integration. If you set up the RMM integration uh, with your Pulseway uh, RMM tool, Alerts that create tickets that have assets on them that come in here will actually add the asset to your PSA. Great. Okay. Now let's head back to the Service S module. And we just talked about assets. Let's click on the Knowledge Base folder. The Knowledge Base is a great way for you to store articles, how-to, reference documents for your internal staff, your engineers, your technicians. So those uh, procedures that don't come around that often, or they're very uh, complicated and you want to have step-by-step -step instructions. So whatever articles you want to put in here, designed to help your internal IT staff. So I click New, uh, give it a title. You know, whatever it's going to be. It's a how to. Again, this drop down you can configure in the admin module, my company list. Uh, and then I can put my details and pictures and instructions and then hit save. But I forgot published on. Um, if you forget to pick a required field, the software will gently remind you to fill it in. Now I'm done. So you can build your internal knowledge base to help your team uh, resolve tickets, get answers quick. Uh, you could even copy and paste and send information out to your customers if that helps you with your support process. The next folder I want to talk about was down here called service calls. Now service calls means you need to be at your customer's location to fix the ticket. I've got a number of service calls in the past, so let me show you how you create a service call. There's two ways. On a ticket, you can uh, schedule it, and from the home module in the dispatcher's calendar. So I'm gonna go to the service desk, my ticket. I'm gonna open up this ticket I have today. If you look down at the bottom, here's where you add your time and your notes and other features. I'm gonna click on the service calls and to-dos and I'm gonna click Add Service Call. I'm gonna give it to myself. And you know, this was a Sunday night, the late call. Um, I gotta be in at uh, Monday at 11 a.m. And I'll probably be there at 12. Save, and I'm done. It's that easy. So, where does the service call uh, show up? Well, it shows on the bottom of the ticket in the service desk module, there's that service desk folder. So a service desk manager, help desk manager can see any scheduled service calls. And it's also gonna show in a number of other places. 
on the home module, it shows on uh, for that person, that resource that we scheduled, it shows in their folder called My Service Calls. And there it is. I need to be at the customer tomorrow at 11. It shows on my calendar. And you can hover over it and see and get the details. You can even double click and get access to the ticket. And last but not least, if you have the dispatcher's calendar turned on with all your different resources, it shows on the calendar as well. Okay. Uh, that's again, video was focused on assets important to your process, supporting your customers. These are the assets that are having issues. They may be calling you on knowledge base, store those articles, those how to's to help your internal staff and then service calls. Uh, again, part of the support process, not everything can be fixed remotely. You might have to be on site. The service calls can help schedule and track that entire process.